Greetings, folks, and welcome back to the Egotistical Asshole Hour. Today's special guest is Vegeta, prince of a race that consists of himself, one other person, and two half-breed children. Despite this, he will gladly tell anyone who will listen to him that he is the prince of all Saiyans, and that he is the best of all. And that he will kill you with no difficulty, no matter how strong you might be. And also just generally be an asshole. But hey guys, welcome to part, uh, what is this, 21 of Let's Play Legacy of Goku 2, where we're going to fight bosses with our sort of transformation, oh god damn it, with our sort of new transformations. You might notice that I'm hitting harder, but I'm also moving much slower, god fucking damn it. I don't know why Vegeta is moving slower, considering his transformation did not affect his speed, and I'm getting my ass handed to me, damn. This is just pathetic. But, uh, for some reason it does slow you down, and I don't know why. Come on, die. You son of a bitch, stop it. There. Christ, that was closer than it really needed to be. The slowdown in speed is very painful, as you might have noticed. But no, we are not Vegeta. We are Super Vegeta. But he doesn't say that in this. Blah, blah, blah. We got new strength. And he acts like a dick. And... Hi, Trunks. How you doing, buddy? A true Super Saiyan, huh? That's why you just got your ass kicked by a guy who's supposedly way weaker than you. Isn't that great? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. True power. Ultimate power. And... Yes, he wants to become perfect, so... Vegeta, being the idiot that he is, is going to let him become perfect. So, off they go. <clears throat> and we very quickly find... 16 and 18. And... Bye, 18. Say hello to Perfect Cell. He is the final boss of this game. Isn't that great? But we're not ready for the final battle yet. We're just here to show off how ultimate his power has become. And... Despite the fact that that was clearly a punch, Vegeta calls it a kick. And it did nothing. So... He gets one-shotted. Yay! And now... It is a time for Trunks to show what he's got. He is even more powerful because of a transformation. And he also moves really fucking slow. Which makes this far more difficult than it should be. And you have to win. Oh, son of a bitch. See, and the only thing that helps out somewhat is the fact that Cell is big, so you can kind of work an angle on him. And also the uh, fact that Trunks has a lot of key. Okay, that'll help stay alive for a little longer. And Cell immediately gets a new life bar. And we have to fight him again. Blah, blah, blah. Backstory, that doesn't matter. Because we already heard it before. And we start over again. Hopefully this won't go too poorly. Yes, the big, one of the bigger helping factors here is that uh, Trunks hits a lot harder than Vegeta was. I'm still dying, though. Oh, shit. 
Okay. I wanted to try and get through this without using it, but uh, I, I don't want to die. Get out of the damn corner there. I've got enough fish for another Senzubi. Oh, son of a bitch! There. God damn. When I did my test run, I didn't go nearly that poorly. But, uh, yeah. Trunks' his transformation cut his speed, so he couldn't even touch Cell in the uh, anime after he stopped playing around. The game just makes you fight two hopeless battles instead, and makes you win them, because it's a dick. Blah blah blah, Goku's hiding, training, whatever, who cares. And... Cell decides to hold a tournament rather than kill everybody. Yes, he's giving us a second chance for victory. Blah blah blah, he's going to revive the World's Martial Arts Tournament, and... If we win, everybody is saved. If we lose, he destroys the Earth. That kind of good stuff. And... come on. Shut up. He wants to fight Goku, because everybody else failed. Everybody else being Trunks and Vegeta. And they run off to Sulk. There's number 18... or er, 16, sorry. Hey, this was your idea, you dick. Shut up. Anyways, we are going to go elsewhere. Off the Capsule Corp, like Trunks said to, because we are slaves to what this game tells us to do. Yes, we don't have to land in West City to uh, go to Capsule Corp anymore. We can just land right there. We need to talk to Master Roshi. Actually, we don't need to, but whatever. And everybody moved here. He just tells us where we need to go. Upstairs and over to the lab. Let's go to the lab first. Ow, my face. My beautiful face. And here they're repairing 16, which it makes us watch for no reason. And they tell us the obvious. Come on. We already know all this. Yes, artificial intelligence is great, whatever. And... We talked to Bulma. Who makes it so our scouter maps will now show us rooms we haven't been into yet so we can see what places look like? That is actually a lot more useful than it sounds. And where was the other place they said to go? Oh yes, upstairs. When we go upstairs, we find... I went into the wrong room. We find... Chi-Chi! Hi, Chi-Chi! Gohan is not going to get to fight in the tournament because Chi-Chi says so. And we all know what that means. Absolutely nothing. Now we talked to everybody. Yeah, whatever, Yamcha. Krillin's kind of creepy. Yes, he's a rambling old man. We know how they work. And whatever. I'm only doing this because it makes us. Yes, you suck, Chaozu. We all know that. And we try to leave. But... Oh no, is it Cell? He is going to terrorize the Earth, except he's not. He's going to hold the Cell Games, which will be the scene of the final battle ten days from today. And he keeps talking endlessly, one-on-one. -on -one. If you give up your body to the outside of the ring, you lose. This is the last chance. Now let the games begin. And this is where we end this update. Later, guys.